<laughs> technically, technically, none of my characters are based on real people. However, in my book, um, the character of Sam with his excessive trumping, um, th there are elements of Sam that I may have observed in my own boyfriend. Elements. And he, I'm afraid, has noticed them. He's also noticed other things like um, rocket and pear smoothies that he makes. Um, but yes, some of his more unfortunate habits have made it in. That's a good question, actually. I'm finding that the, the longer I go as a writer, the more affected I am by other people's writing. And, and whenever I read a book that I really enjoy, I'll then spend the next two days trying to write in the style of that author, which is such a waste of time. I think deep down I know exactly what my style is and it's exactly what happens when I sit at a computer and start typing. Um, but I'm still, yeah, far too heavily influenced by people whose styles I admire. I think I go back to Restoration England. It sounds amazing. Completely, well, I don't know, I think it was a time of fear, but it was just sounds like a time of loose morals, busty wenches, appalling behaviour and just filth and scourge. It, it, sounds, it sounds good. I have just started keeping um, a journal. It's, it, I've got a little book called One Line a Day and it's every day for five years I just write a line about that day. So um, if I've disappeared up my own backside I might just write a line of poetry. Um, if not I might just say what I've done. Frequently I just say what I ate for dinner. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it, actually. Um, I've been through the copy editing process twice now, and the feedback I've received both times from the copy editor is that I overuse suddenly, as in suddenly I started to feel, and there's the other one, started to. Apparently I say this all the time, either I began to feel or I started to laugh or I began to sit down. Apparently it's an error. I think, I think permanently I want to live in the countryside because I am just a bumpkin. Um, but right now I'm just itching to live in New York and trying to make that happen. <laughs> my favourite type of cheese. Cheese is very important to me. Um, currently my favourite would be Cambazola, which I believe is from Germany. Um, it's just, it's an outrageous cheese, which I can only suggest you try. I will be a dog, specifically I'll be my dog, whose name is Grouse. He's a black Labrador and he is, he is just the happiest person you have ever come across. His life is just amazing. He sleeps, he eats, everyone loves him. And he's just a fool and, and he doesn't care. He's wonderful. My favourite TV show, um, I don't own a television. Yes, I was a television producer for several years and um, I don't own a TV. When I started out my career in television, I, um, it's a long story, but I managed to email a photo of my chest to every single person who worked on that show. Um, and it quickly went viral. And unfortunately, a copy of the, the photograph was attached to a legal letter that got sent to somebody who was being fired from that TV programme. They threatened to take it to the news of the world. I'm very lucky that the world doesn't know what my chest looks like. I do only one Z, yes. It's a zebra and it's, it's magnificent. I am writing my third novel at the moment and I've never said this before but I am hugely excited about it. Um, it's about opera, um, not about kind of big stuffy women but just about real people um, trying to make it in the world of opera and I've done loads of research and I'm just enjoying writing it so much. I'm really excited.